first game, we're going to be breaking down a little bit. Ooh, Nebraska at Colorado. Wow. How about that? Colorado putting the pound to the town on Nebraska. Early on, it was physical. Nebraska looked like, you know, they were up front matching up with Colorado. In fact, it looked like they were, you know, moving a little bit. Their def- defense was definitely a big factor in the first half there. But I think they just got gassed, man. I think they just got gassed. I mean, you could see that, like, Nebraska up front, it was kind of a mismatch, right? Colorado only rushed for 57 yards. Nebraska ran for 222. But uh, look, Colorado's secondary is pretty good, and they make plays when they need to. Now, Jeff Sims also, gosh, if you're a Nebraska fan, there's four stairs, right? And then there's unforced stairs. The four stairs, right? Defense makes a great play. Disguise the coverage. Uh, make a stunt on a blitz, right? Force fumble, whatever. Missed handoffs. Not taking snaps, just absolutely willy nilly throws wherever. Uh, so Jeff, Sim- that, that's why I think this score got a little bit out, more out of hand than it probably was. But dude, credit to this coaching staff, which we know was a great coaching staff, and in the second half, turning it around, putting the steamrollers on. Shador Sanders is probably a lot of people's favorite for the Heisman right now. Deserving so, I thought him. And Xavier or Xavier uh, Weaver, right? He was the guy that broke out. Uh, everyone else was getting attention. Jimmy Horn, Travis Hunter, Shador Sanders, obviously, Dylan Edwards. But it was him. He was fantastic today. Dawson had a couple of touchdown grabs for him. The defense, obviously, you shouldn't take it a ton in terms of stopping Nebraska. And they gave up 220 yards to the ground. Most of that was on a 70-yard touchdown run by Jeff Sims, which is a nice play designed by them, obviously. Um, but, yeah, I think Colorado kind of just outlasted Nebraska. Uh, Nebraska did the best they could, right? For two and a half quarters, they played pretty damn good defense against a really, really good offense. And they caught it up just the damn broke, and then it was over from then. Um, I think Colorado, I, I hope they stay healthy. I really do, because they're going to compete in a damn good Pac-12 conference, and they're going to give a lot of teams runs that, you know, maybe look early in the season, USC or Oregon or Washington or, or Utah or UCLA did not expect. You know, a, a team like Colorado to to give them fits, but yeah, I, I just I love watching them every every time. The problem is, is they put so much pressure on Shador Sanders. I mean, that whole offense and quite frankly, the team is run through him. And I know he can handle it. The problem is, is he took a lot, a lot of hits yesterday against a pretty physical front in Nebraska, and it's not going to get easier. Obviously, at Colorado State next week should be a win for him. He's got to stay healthy. Everybody else has got to stay healthy as well. But you got to get into conference play after that. And it will not be easy. Um, we saw, we talked about earlier, the Pac-12 is damn good this year. Damn good. Right? So, uh, I, I'm excited for Colorado. Um, Nebraska's offense, like you said, it it was just clunky. It, that Like, discombobulating. I mean, pick your adjective for what you want to talk about. They're, they got to get cleaned up and fast. The problem is, is this is the year, right? The last year of divisions, the Big Ten, the Big Ten West especially, is so wide open. We saw Wisconsin you know, lose to Washington State yesterday. Iowa ne- has not looked pretty all year. Minnesota's obviously kind of been clunky as well. Illinois is very much question mark. Purdue even too. So Nebraska's a team that's talented enough to make some some waves in the Big Ten West and make a bowl game for sure. Go five and four and five in the uh, Big Ten, but a lot has to change. I still believe in Matt Rule no matter what. Uh, Scott Satterfield, I still question if he's the right hire there at OC. Um, but then, yeah, Jeff Sims, that poor guy, man, he, something's, something's wrong mentally with them. Like this is mistakes that need to be needed to be cleaned up in spring. This is a high school football stuff, mesh point, you know, snapping the football. Um, so hopefully they get cleaned up. I, I just think Casey Thompson, you know, how, how different would this game have been if Casey Thompson was there or they had competent receivers or, you know, I know Casey Thompson lost to, to Ohio yesterday, but that's still a pretty good front there with, with Ohio. So. Um, yeah, I, I think I still believe in that rule. I'm not worried about him, but in terms of a serious contender for Nebraska this year, no, not this year. Right. 